Alrighty, uh, back with more videos. Uh, really, today's video should be pretty quick and easy. I'm just going to show you guys how to, um, on all of our files, uh, our Mudbox files, export the textures. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, should be pretty quick, pretty short video, honestly. Um, I'll, I'll probably posting a, another video as well on um, texturing in the room uh, today as well, so this will be uploaded. Um, so I'm in Mudbox, and I've opened my chair up. And you can see here's our layers, right? Because we're in the layers menu here. You see that there's the color, and there's only one layer there. But you see this bump map has two layers, right? So this is important because we want a color map and a bump map, right? Because these are going to be somewhat uniquely different, right? There's kind of um, uh, non-coloring from this bump right here. So these uh, different groupings, diffuse and bump, are not the same. They're not identical textures. So they really have to be exported as their own. Now, exporting a texture is quite easy in Mudbox. All you have to do is click on the layer, uh, particularly if it's just one layer. Uh, Right-click on it, right? So, you know, when you right-click in Mudbox, it brings up its options. New layer, you could de delete a layer, you could duplicate it, you can move it to a different channel. We've already seen that in previous videos. Um, but if we go down further, you'll see that there is an import and export area. Now, the cool thing about import is you can actually bring textures in, like that you've already started somewhere else, into Mudbox. So if you ever need to maybe do something in Photoshop, like say text, right? Uh, you can easily export a layer, uh, the layer you wanna work on, take it in Photoshop, kind of maybe you do use a cool brush that you like in there or text for something, uh, like you want like a label on something. Uh, and then you can import that layer back into Mudbox to do further texturing. So you can actually import uh, outside files as whole layers. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to export, right? Because we're not really doing necessarily any of that stuff. We wanna keep it as simple as possible. But you can import uh, stuff in, and that's really cool. You can actually import images as layers. But we just wanna export selected. So that's all you really have to do to get a texture out of Mudbox, is just right click on the layer, export selected, and then you see it's gonna bring it up here. Now in this case, I've already created a, uh, a folder, right? So I can just kinda of go find where I put that folder at. That just becomes a good question. Uh, let's see, it's somewhere, I'm gonna go desktop just to make sure to find it there we go um, and then of course what I can do is I'm using the project we've created for this right um, and that way we kind of have it everywhere right because that's the thing about projects is that your scenes in there right um, so if we go to scenes we can see that there's all those kind of different uh, model scenes in fact you can even see the textures are in there because we were saving our Mudbox uh, stuff into this project also so kind of even saving your uh, Mudbox scenes in your projects can be super super useful um, but in this case, I want to export textures out. So I'm just going to go to the images folder of that project. And what we can do is we can just call this uh, chair color. Now, it's good to use underscores instead of spaces. Spaces can sometimes do weird things with file extensions, right? We've been using that for our projects and our other folders, underscores. So in this case, chair, because that describes the object. And this is going to be the color layer, right? So chair color. There we go. And the default. PNG 8 bit's fine, right? But you'll see if you click on that, you can save it as higher bit depths, different formats, right? Um, but the defaults are gonna be fine for us, right? PNG 8 bit. So we're gonna save. That's how you export a texture out of my box. Now, in this case, if I go to the bump layer, you'll notice that there are two layers. I don't wanna bring both of these out independent. I want them to be just one texture file to take out. So, how do you take multiple layers in a group and make them into one layer? That's really easy also. You just right click on one of the layers, right? You select one of the layers in the bump area, all right? And you right click on it, just like we've done a plenty of times before in other videos. You know, you can make a new layer there, duplicate, delete, but you'll see there's an area called merge visible. And you notice these are all on, right? All the eyeballs are on, so those are all visible. So we can just merge visible. And what that'll do is that'll take all of those layers and merge them down to a single one. Basically, it's kind of like a, a Photoshop's flat, right? So it takes all those layers we had and it uh, takes them and merges them into one layer. And then we can, of course, right click on that, export selected. And then, of course, this will be called color bump. And you can actually see the uh, color chair already in that. And you see how it's already going pro properly to the folder, project folder, images folder. So let's call that chair bump because it's not the color and it is different than that. So we want to name it properly, chair bump. And there we go. And that is how you export those textures out. Now in this case, I'm gonna do it for the other ones really quick, just so you can kind of see it a couple more times. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Mudbox and I'm gonna open up the Mudbox scenes. Uh, let's see here, kind of maybe move that over just a little bit so we can see the names of these. So there's our bed, so I'll open up bed. Uh, don't save this one because I didn't really, you know, 
You don't have to save the merging, right? That could be a good thing if you want to come back to kind of work on it some more. Don't save the merging, right? At that point, your textures are done. You just did a merge and export it. Um, so you don't have to necessarily save those if you didn't actually do any painting work. Uh, now, in this case, I have multiple objects. So I'll have to go to object list, right? And I'll click on the bed posts and I'll go to layers and there's the bed post color. So we right click on that. In this case, there's no multiple layers. So we don't have to do merge visible. Uh, that'll be what we'll not, we're not gonna have to do that for most of our textures because most of our texturing were just single layers, but there were a few that had a couple layers, uh, which is good. It's great practice for us. So we'll just right click export selected and we'll call this uh, bed post, right? Underscore color. There we go. And that's exported out. And now we go back to object list, right? Remember layers and object list right here. And we can click on that one. There's the blanket. So we'll go back to layers. And you see there's a bump to this one. So we'll have to export two. In this case, my bump layer is already selected. So I'll just right click on that and export selected. And we can call this um, bed blanket underscore bump because it's the bump layer, right? There we go. And then of course we can click on the diffuse, which is our color layer, right? And we right click on that. And so once again, you'll see there's only one layer for each of these. Uh, so we don't have to merge those down. There's no multiple layers to merge. We can't merge the color and the bump because they're, they might be different, right? They might not match and be identical. In this case they are, but uh, they might not, right? Uh, so in this case, since the diffuse grouping only has one layer, the bump map only has one layer, we don't have to do the merge visible. So we'll right click export selected and we can call this bed blanket color, right? I already got the bed blanket part. So I'll just kind of type in color there. There we go. All right, and now we'll go to our last object in here, which is the, the uh, pillows. There we go. And we'll go back to layers. And of course this has two of its own layers um, and we'll export that. So we'll right click export selected on the bump. And we'll call this uh, bed pillow. Underscore bump, there we go. And of course we can click on the diffuse layer, right click on it, export selected. And this could be bed pillow color. Remember, we're using that other uh, that underscore though, right? Save, and you see we're slowly exporting these out into the images folder of our project. So that way, all your Maya scenes, all your Mudbox scenes, and even the textures are all in that one project. So all you have to do is grab that one project and move around. Now, the nice thing is at this point, you're not probably gonna have to move around computers because you're on your own computer at home. Uh, so it's probably not gonna matter as much, but uh, we've been working on those projects the whole time. And so it's great to kind of uh, have that available um, and reinforce that. So I'm gonna go file open and I'm gonna find the clock. There we go. So open that up. Don't save that. And there's our clock. And of course this has a couple of different layers, right? There's a couple of color and diffuse layers. Now in this case, we only have one bump. Uh, so I, and this is only one object, right? Remember there's only one object for this one. So I'll just right click on bump, export selected. We'll call this clock uh, bump, clock underscore bump. There we go, save that. And then of course, we have a couple of layers for our color and our incandescence. So remember, uh, in these cases, since there's a couple of layers here, we wanna right click on one of them and we wanna merge visible. That'll take them all and flatten them down to one. Then we right click on it again, and that's when we go to export selected. We can call this clock underscore glow. It's just easier to type in than incandescence or emission channel. So I just usually use shorthand glow because that's really what we created it for. So clock glow, there we go. And then we'll click on this one and we'll right click exports, uh, actually merge visible, sorry, because there's multiple layers. So merge visible, merge them all down in one, right click export selected. And then we call this clock color. So the actual process of getting this stuff out of uh, Mudbox is quite easy, right? It's really just merging any layers if you've got them and then just right click exporting. Now the model is already in Maya, right? And it's already got the same UVs in Maya. So we don't have to bring the model out, right? Or the UVs, they're already in that master Maya scene, right? So all we really need is the painting we did, the actual textures, the images. So that's why we're just exporting just these guys. So I'll go file open and let's see desk. Uh, somewhere my end table's in there too, but uh, let's go find that again. I think I actually did this final room <laughs> by mistake. That's right. Um, so don't save. <coughs> there it is. And of course we can go to object lists and we can grab that object, go to layers. And in this case, remember these are just simple, simple color layers. So we just right click 
on that layer, export selected since it's only one layer. We call this desk uh, legs, right? Desk legs underscore color. But usually something to describe the object and the map type, right? So in this case, it's the desk legs. That's kind of one of the defining features of the object. And it's the color map. Save that. And of course, we have the object list and we grab the drawers. And we have the layers. We can right click on that. There's only one, so there's no need to merge visible. We just right click and export selected. In this case, this is going to be desk drawers underscore color. Because we didn't create bump maps for these ones, right? Um, those are our starting ones. And uh, a bumpy desk is going to be not a very effective desk, right? <laughs> you don't really usually want a lot of bump on your desk. Uh, it's meant to be smooth so you can write surfaces on it. So it's usually kind of like a varnished or lacquered wood or something like that. All right. So we'll go file open. And like I said, I actually created a mud box scene called final room for my desk, but that's okay because, you know, our room itself is not uh, going to be texture mud box. Uh, that's what our next video is going to be is uh, how to texture the room and how to start to create materials. And then we'll have another video uh, later on uh, in the week for uh, applying more textures and other materials and doing some basic lighting and rendering stuff. Uh, so in this case, we have a couple objects for this one. So we go back to object list and we'll select that object layers. Right click, export selected. This will be, uh, let's see, uh, let's say desk, let's call it uh, end table top. So end table top underscore color. And see all these textures are starting to show up in here. You can actually see the painting you did, but you can see it as 2D pictures, because that's really what we we're doing is we we're painting on the model from 3D projecting those pixels, but they were basically going into a 2D image, right? A 2D texture. That's the whole reason why we UV and wrap, so that the uh, the texture knows how to lay on the surface properly. So we'll save that. There we go. And I'll go back to object list, and we'll grab the drawer one, so we'll layers. Um, so remember, we go back and forth between object list and layers. Uh, right click, export selected. And then of course, this can be end table drawers underscore color oh, if i can remember to put the l in there for color there we go and then of course we go back to object lists and we can grab the legs go back to layers right click on the diffuse layer export selected and we can call this in this table legs underscore color now if you wanted to use like under in table underscore legs you can do that that's fine right um, you're not going to be turning these textures into me. I don't want to receive and have submitted 15 textures, <laughs> right? Um, your Maya scenes are what you're going to turn in with your UVs and your renders, right? Because I'll let me see your lighting and texturing and the Maya scene can let me see your actual UVs. All right, so uh, save that. And there we go. And that's basically everything we wanted to do for exporting our textures out of Mudbox.